Driving around the city of Shreveport, you'll find bumps in the road that many drivers just can't avoid. In a report released by the Louisiana Bucket Brigade, Calumet Lubricants had 22 accidents and released over 37,000 gallons of pollution in 2013. And as the shelters around Shreveport Bossier continue to fill up, they are still encouraging people to come in and get help with the services that they may need. Good evening, welcome to Fox 33's 2014 election night coverage. I'm Jay Choice. The polls in Louisiana will be closing shortly, and according to the clerk of court's office, the turnout for today's election was heavy. Caddo commissioners were planning for a crowd of 200 people that turned into a crowd of 1,200 people. With the opening of the final stretch of I-49, drivers will no longer have to detour onto Highway 71 to continue their drive into Arkansas. This project has also made way for at least 19 units to be remodeled from top to bottom. Everything out on work work hard for my uh, 39 years of living, you know, and to contribute is pretty much, you know, gone. Thanksgiving Day turned tragic for a Shreveport family after they woke up this morning to their home on fire. It happened in the 400 block of West 62nd Street just before 8 this morning. Fire crews say when they arrived on the scene, heavy flames and smoke could be seen coming from the front windows of the home. The occupants did tell our investigators that they saw fire in the front room around the area of a multi-outlet strip. Homeowner Christopher Brown says his son, his girlfriend, and their baby was in that front room where the fire is believed to have started. When they opened the front door, it was just like a bomb went off. The fire got, got powerful and it just wiped the whole house out. Brown says he had only been living in the home for one year, in which during that time he says he put a lot of money into it to reconstruct it. Spent all my money, you know, my life savings to... Uh, or put us in this house. The family was planning on having a big Thanksgiving Day dinner with loved ones, but now they're just leaning on their faith to get through this tragedy. I got to start over again, you know, so, you know, thank God I still have my life. Brown says they're just grateful everyone got out safely and have a reason to count their blessings as they give thanks on this Thanksgiving Day. I'm asking everybody that's living in a house, whether you rent, own, or whatever. You know, just check your uh, check your electric components, check your uh, gas uh, hookups, you know, make sure they're up to par. The local Red Cross and Summer Grove Baptist Church are assisting the family with a place to stay. Meanwhile, the cause of the fire remains under investigation. In Shreveport, Jay Choice, Fox 33 News, Arklatex. I feel like that it shouldn't, it shouldn't have happened up in Mellon. Mellon have always been a nice little place and stuff like that. The Webster Parish town is shaken after a botched drug deal just outside of Minden claimed the life of a teenager and landed four others in jail. What we believe that is taking place at this was like uh, an attempted robbery where they were going to lure a drug dealer into them, rob him of his drugs and his money. And what happened, it turned sour and went bad, and actually the uh, lured drug dealer actually was, I understand, is the one that shot Omar Lott. 18-year-old Murphy Robertson is the suspected drug dealer and was arrested along with 18-year-old Jason Glenn Turk, 17-year-old Tango Frazier, and a 16-year-old juvenile. Right now, deputies don't know how many times Lott was shot or where he was shot, but say his body did suffer several gunshot wounds. Family members tell officers that Lott had been missing since Sunday, but it was not reported to the police department or the sheriff's office until a family member discovered Lott's body in a wooded area off Walter Lyons Road. Sexton says the body had been in the woods for two and a half days. Despite the questionable circumstances surrounding the murder, community members are sad it had to end with the and loss of a out. life. My sympathy go out for the families and stuff that it happened to. In Webster Parish, Jay Choice, Fox 33 News, Arklas X. A day before being diagnosed with cancer, Keenan Irving's wife Ashley began writing in a journal as a way to cope with her illness. It was her hope that no one would ever read the journal until she got better. After a six-month fight, Ashley passed away with stomach cancer last November. It was after her death that Irving knew he wanted to do something special with the journal. We started doing the art pieces, and in an effort to do something for charity with those art pieces, we figured out a better way to do it would be to release the whole journal and to do a whole 
charity based around the journal. That's when Irving began releasing excerpts from the journal as a self-funded organization to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. On the last page of the journal, Ashley had a list of goals and things that she wanted to accomplish when she beat cancer, and one of them was to start a charity. And so that's kind of why we wanted to do something with charity, uh, with the project and with the journal itself. By starting the charity, Irving is now working to raise thousands to send seven-year-old Leia of Shreveport to Walt Disney World. This is the second child that Irving has been inspired to spend countless hours helping make her wish come true. We've raised about $2,400 for Leia's trip so far. We need $6,500 roughly for her to be able to go and to pay for her Make-A-Wish trip. So we're still raising money. Irving says it was his wife's positive and encouraging journal pieces that have inspired him to want to help thousands of children's wishes come true. To find out how you can help make Leah's wish become a reality, log on to our website, KMSSTV.com. In Shreveport, Jade Choice, Fox 33 News, Arklatex.